And I also wanted to show the cakes that I've been doing for this weekend. Um, this is a half can beer bottle cake. This is Pabst. Um, this is what the groom liked. This is a, um, I threw it in for free because it was small and their order was kind of big. Um, it was three six inch circles cut in half. So we got six pieces. So I lined them up. Um, the fondant was white, then I sprayed it with the Ameramist Silver Sheen. Um, I then kind of used my gum paste tool to do this indentation here, as well as this indentation here. I did like a little outline for where the opening is, which I then painted black. And you can see here, I did the opening around that outline that it has, and then the little tab. Um, I just you know, kind of flattened it out, made like an oval with my fingers, and then used a tip and to cut the little holes out. Um, then I added the edible image. The beer spill, I think I like this one much better. I don't know if you can see the glimmer of it, but what I did was I took some piping gel, and I used some, let's see if I can reach without going away from the cake. I used some CK Gold Flakes that has a little bit of a shimmer to it as well so I took some piping gel put in some of those gold flakes inside mixed it in and then um, I put it in the piping bag and piped it all and I kind of like did this kind of motion narrower up front wider here and then after that I sprinkled on some more gold flakes and then some disco dust so you kind of see that glimmery stuff I hope you guys be able to see that so that was my beer can cake and the groom actually, he was so excited that I was doing this for him for free that he actually brought us over about four or six cans of the Pap Spear. So we will go on to the next cake. Okay, here's the second one. Um, this is a horsey cake. Um, we did one of these a couple of weeks ago. Um, this one's for a four-year-old boy. He's actually a foster child. His um, foster mom called me. He's never had a cake before. So she's getting him one, having a pony party. Here's the eye. I, I um, shined it up with confectioner's glue and I added a dot of white um, food color. I made the bandana with um, red fondant, of course. And it looks kind of plain, so I added a paisley design doing the thing with tip number three. It's not perfect, but I think it added a lot to the cake. So this is a horsey cake. Robert's getting good at carving these out. Okay, this is cake number three. Um, this is a half sheet cake, double layer. She wanted a gift package. Um, so I suggested this design. This is an 8 inch square on top with the purple, red, and green dots and the loopy bow. This is, I guess it's called a dressmaker's bow. Right here, the greeting will go a little gift tag. So that's the third one. And then we'll go on to the wedding cake. That'll be number four. Alrighty, see you soon. Okay, this is the fourth cake. Um, this is the wedding cake. The bride wanted offset cake. Mm -hmm. So this is a 6, 10, and 14. Um, this is the ribbon that they chose with the flowers. Um, she wanted the flowers kind of all over the big ones but I thought they were like way too big when I placed them on I was like ooh it doesn't look quite right so I used their little ones instead um, the orange ones just looked a little awkward I was putting one on each corner here and the other two sides but it didn't look quite right originally she just wanted escrows but then the mom came in about a week or so ago and said oh can you do it to match the ribbon so I did the little flowers kind of to mimic the flowers on the ribbon and you can't really tell but she wanted a lot of cake sparkles on it and then um, she wanted the W initial on which the bride wasn't able to find so I said well, I can make a quick one out of gum paste 
So here this one is. The first one I made broke. I have to make another one, hopefully. And this one already broke over here. And I just glued it back together. Hopefully it will stay. And I will put that on when we get to the venue. But this is the wedding cake. And the beer groom's cake is what will go with this cake. So hopefully the W will stay on it when we get to the venue. We shall see. I miss my van. Okay, the wedding cake is up there. We have the extra serving cake here and the groom's cake here. Um, Robert wanted to bring the gift box cake also, but I told him there's no room in the car. So of course he was going to attempt to try it, but uh, finally he saw things my way and realized it was just not going to fit in this car. Now we're having problem with the GPS, trying to find where the wedding cake will replace it because the address is not showing up. And, you know, I had brought it up on the map yesterday and I said, this is where it is. Do you know where that is? And he said, yes. But, of course, he didn't really mean it. So he tried looking it up in the GPS and the address is not showing up. So we had to come back to the shop so that he could look it up on the computer. Yes. Um, what can I say? Men just don't listen. I wish he'd see things my way when it comes to the cake, but I'm 95% right most of the time. Where cakes won't fit, addresses on the computer, don't rely on the GPS, but you know, what can you do? Grin and bear it. So I'm waiting for him to come out. And we're supposed to deliver the gift box cake by 12.30 to 1. They were actually going to come pick it up, but um, the ladies were older and they were not going to be able to lift up this cake up the stairs. So we told them we'd deliver it. So, yep. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll be there by 1 o'clock for the second, well, third delivery of the day. We just delivered the horse cake as well. Okay. Toodles.